here's, here's who's blind in this conversation, a finance minister who first claims that there's an increase in infrastructure spending and then later has to admit, and I quote, there is less spending on infrastructure. $1.2 billion less. Less money for crumbling roads, less money for congested highways, less money for a starved public transit system. But this government has lost its way and spends all of its time listening to their own rosy rhetoric instead of listening to Canadians. When will this government stop and drop the smoke and mirrors exercise and be honest with Canadians that $1.2 billion less on infrastructure is going to hurt them and hurt our fragile economy? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Let's look at the facts, Mr. Speaker. This is the largest long-term federal infrastructure commitment in Canada's history. We're investing in infrastructure to create jobs and long-term prosperity. Thanks to our investment infrastructures, we're making a real difference. Look what the Federation of Canadian Municipalities said. Quote, this budget delivers significant gains for Canada's cities and communities. Why doesn't the NDP put aside their blindology, stand up and support municipalities, stand up and support the construction of bridges, roads and sewers? Why won't they do the right thing and finally redeem themselves?